And that's enough about me. What I want to do now is talk about the science of breath testing, give you a little bit of an overview. If you have refused the breath test or they're accusing you of refusing the breath test, this portion of this tape is not going to be relevant to you. However, I think you ought to just pay attention anyway because it's some interesting, uh, interesting stuff that uh, nobody uh, that doesn't normally realize what's going on with this, even judges and other lawyers out there. If you had a breath test, this is what you're getting. It's a certificate of analysis. If you look at the top, and I'm going to have one, you'll have one there in front of you you can refer to in the binder that's sitting on the table in front of you. It's called a certificate of blood alcohol analysis. Now, you didn't give blood. If you look down at the bottom on the attestation clause, you're going to see that it says that you were advised of your right to observe the process and to see the blood alcohol reading on the equipment. Again, they're referring to that number there, uh, the point .08 uh, or whatever your number is, as a blood alcohol content. I'd like you to look and I'm going to explain to you, well, I'm going to explain to you why they have to deal with blood. In fact, let me do that now. Any time that you drink beer, wine, or liquor, what you're drinking is this. It's ethanol. When ethanol gets into your stomach, it then goes to the intestines, and then it goes, you can come, uh, goes to the intestines. Um, you can go to the intestines and then it will uh, get into your bloodstream. From there, it travels up to your brain and that's what impairs you or intoxicates you. Alcohol or ethanol in your lungs does not impair you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, the uh, Certificate of Blood Alcohol Analysis. I'd like you to take a look at your alcohol content on the sheet if you have your green sheet with you. This one for example says a 0.14. Samples alcohol content 0.14. Now nobody has been able to come in and tell me what that exactly means. Um, I'm going to tell you what it means. It's 4, 0.14 is 14 percent and you see the next word there is grams. So it's 14 percent of a gram. Now to get an idea of what a gram is like, take a sweet and low sugar packet, dump it on the table, take 86% of that packet and brush it off the table. You're left with 14% of a gram. But the, the, uh, the line goes on though, it says it's per 210 liters of breath. Now, not one of you has blown 210 liters of breath into the Intoxilizer 5000. 210 liters of breath is the equivalent of 105 2 liter bottles. If you were to take 105 2 liter bottles and dump it into a barrel, you would fill up a 55 gallon drum. So let's take our 14 percent of that sugar packet, of that sweet and low, put it in the 55 gallon drum, mix it all around, and that's the percentage of alcohol that they say that you have in your blood.